Hi there, here we are at Grampian Air Rifle Club and a quietish night indoors so far. This is the Diana Mauser K98, kindly on loan from Lloyd and Sean at Blackpool Air Rifles, thanks again gents. And there's even a possibility that Chris, who I just filmed uh, his first try of this, there's even a possibility he might sort of uh, buy this and I, I won't even need to take it back to Blackpool. So we'll see. Very nice rifle. His only quibble is whether to get it in 177 or 22. So that's a good sign. Right, so, yeah. let's have a look. Okay. Smooth bolt. Very yeah, smooth. But the last year that was good better. Oh, I don't know how many shots are far. Uh, no, don't worry. When, when you run out, the bolt won't go forward. Ah, right. Just like an FX. Yep, so you can't fire a blank shot. Here we go. Time to... Okay. <clears throat> so how did that feel? Pretty good. Excellent. Right, let's go and have a look. You were aiming there. Yeah. So I'm and load up in the there. 10 and I'll put them uh, onto 20. Okay. Rather than 25. So that you can use the same target then if you like. You mentioned that you can get wartime surplus slings. Oh, they'll fit. Yeah. That's what I have on the, the K9GH spring. I did that the body, Right. Which is a great rifle. That was the ring. It fits in there. Easy, actually. Right, therefore I put the bolt forward. Glass is on. Firing a bit high, so let's knock it down. <laughs> what we put on now. Okay. Same target, so that we know where she's going. I don't know where they... Again, the sights are easy to see. Easy to see. No movement whatsoever. Oh, I can see this now, yeah, yeah. You can see where the shots are going. Can actually. Just oh. by moving it back that half click. Remembering that this is open sights, of course. Yeah, open sights with a 14 inch sight radius. And a man that's going blind as a bat. <laughs> that's you. That's your ten. I'm going to fire a rock because I'm not going to fire anymore. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Safety. Can get used to that later on. Style. Excellent. FX style magazine. Nice and light. So maybe another notch to lower the groups. Yeah, and you can shift the the sight over. You happy with that group at 25 meters, that rapid fire? Uh, rapid fire like I did, yes. Yeah. Yes, very much so. Uh, very happy with that. Excellent. Um, yeah, it needs to be slightly adjusted. Ever so slightly, For yeah. me, I would adjust the foresight. Right, okay. We've got a pretty authentic replica of the Moser K98 carbine, World War II Vintage. There's no removable box magazine, unlike the Lee Enfield SMLE replicas, or the Russian one from Enemy at the Gates that I've seen advertised recently in Airgun World. But for me, the disadvantage of having the box magazine is you end up with a 12 gram CO2 power plant and a stack of steel BBs which is not the most accurate thing because you end up with a smoothbore barrel. This fella takes a 10 shot magazine or we have a single shot loading tray with a nice edge to it. So you've got the flush fitting magnet. 
this slides in from the left and you can, you can see the magnet is keeping it in place there. So that's a nice touch. Or you have a 10 shot magazine, 2-2, two, two. slide that in. And again, the magnet is keeping that in place. And as you can probably see from here, yep, the open sights can still be used with the magazine in place. Chris has just used both. They both work very nicely. So he's got a group of just over an inch at 25 meters, rapid fire. So that, that got the thumbs up from him. So we have an air reservoir that's hidden here, I believe, literally encasing the barrel. The barrel goes down the center of the air reservoir. So there's no air reservoir bulk to it. We have, starting at the back, we have a metal butt pad, which is probably quite realistic. We've got a machined slot in, in the wood for the sling. This version, we've got 11 millimeter dovetails at the back here and on the other side of the uh, loading port. We've got a rear sight, which is uh, adjustable tangent leaf. Then there's two barrel bands, which are synthetic and a dummy cleaning rod. And we've got a hooded foresight blade. And there's a, there's a slightly chunky shape to the barrel here. So I believe that adds a bit of moderation because uh, it's not the, the loudest rifle and this is a PCP, so you would expect it to be loud. But the rear barrel band, synthetic, but it's got the, the bracket here to take the forward sling swivel point. And underneath we have the fill probe uh, inlet. No protector to protect any, any debris in there, but take a point off for that. We've got a nice clear manometer underneath and I'll stick photos up on the screen for you. And this is color coded red, green and amber or yellow and 200 bar fill pressure. And that'll give you, I've read online it was 20 or 40 shots. This fell is 2-2 and I got 35, 36 shots out of it before the pressure started dropping and before the groups downrange started dropping last week. So I've got a video of me shooting here last week. I'll include in that. Slightly left of centre, but not a bad group. And I've also got some footage of my chrono tests showing you how amazingly consistent this rifle is. So that's, that's the basic rundown. Safety is air arms style trigger safety. The wood is simple, plain, authentic in other words. And uh, it's, it's a whole lot of fun. The, you might even just notice that the bolt wobbles ever so slightly when you discharge a shot. But I shot it last week in exactly this position and was getting a, a group at 25 meters with the open sights of just over an inch. So I'll put the photo of that on the screen. Very satisfying. So what else is there to tell you about it? It's an 11 millimeter dovetail rail. So you've got a magnetic um, 10 shot mag on a magnetic single shot loading tray. Chris did find when he just loaded his very first shot, he dropped the pellet into the single shot loading tray, 
but then happened to angle the rifle back and the pellet slid down the loading tray into the, the rear of the action. So the, the lesson there is drop a pellet in and close the bolt rather than uh, angle the rifle upwards like this. Lesson learned. Weighs three kilos or six and a half pounds. Feels very, very authentic. Sights are nice and clear. There's a rear square notch and a forward square post within the protective hood here. And uh, yeah, one very nice rifle. But with, as you get it over 30 shots at very, very consistent power levels with this 2.2, I dare say if you wanted to pop a, a sort of a, a scope on here, then your accuracy is probably gonna be easily good enough for it to take rabbits out to sort of 25, 30 meters. So a replica rifle, which is a lot of fun to shoot, and you could even use this as a hunting rifle. Topped up a tiny bit, so the, the green manometer underneath is reading exactly 200 bar. That's the chrono on, and set for 15.89 grain pellets, which is my uh, 22 JSB exacts, uh, 5.52s, I believe. So, cock the action. Slide out the single shot tray, slide in the magazine from the left side with the perspex cover facing to the rear, safety off, nicely consistent so far. That's very, very consistent. That's my 10 shots. Pause the camera. That's 30 shots already with amazing consistency. This is possibly the most consistent rifle I've ever chronographed. That looks like the velocity just dropped off, so I'll just get the figures. For you, shot 36, 11.37, oh, 11.37 and the battery won't let me read the readings, no. So we have a foamed metal plate butt pad. Nothing grippy about it, but it's also probably very authentic. Machined slot at the rear for the sling. And this blanking plug, I'm not sure what that is, but I've seen it on photos of the, the, the real article and there's something that looks very similar. So I don't know if it's something to do with gun production or storage. 
You've got a shallow comb, so this is definitely intended for open sites. Trigger, which breaks exactly five pounds. You've got Morza K98 label. We have an 11 millimeter dovetail rail, either side of the loading port, bolt handle. You've got a small neodymium magnet here for the, either the loading tray or the 10 shot magazine, this being 2-2. Two -two. You've got a similar magnet in the magazine. This magazine has somehow lost its tiny little detente from here. It still functions perfectly and the face still moves under spring pressure, but uh, there's a little, a tiny bit of looseness because that a tiny little detente here has been lost. So loading wise, you rotate the cover anti-clockwise, try and do this with one hand, all the way, and then you turn it over, you pop a pellet in there, tail first, release the cover, and then it holds the pellet under spring pressure. And at that point, you can rotate the cover back clockwise, dropping in pellets two to 10. And then there's a slight lip in the magazine you can see here. So when you load it in from the left side, there we go, slides in and yeah, the magnet's holding it, holding it snug there. Except of course right now you can't close the bolt because the magazine prevents that. So the magazine has got a blank chamber for number 11. So you know exactly when you've run out of your 10 rounds. A nice little touch that, no firing blanks of this fella. So your rear sight, tangent leaf marked in, I'm guessing this will be meters from 10 out to 35. It's all cold to touch, so it's all metal, except for the slider adjuster here, which is uh, plastic. We have the rear barrel band here with the sling bracket built in and front barrel band and then you've got a slightly fat shrouded barrel, which is probably why it's not the loudest of guns, which is great. And you can see the sight here in a protective shroud with a hole above it for adjustment. You can sort of insert the adjustment tool in from above. Underneath the rear barrel band, you have the fill port. A nice touch is that the fill probe has O-rings at the front, and there's your, there's your hole. And one piece brass alloy by the looks of it. And at the rear, you've got a Forster connection machined into it. So that's a one piece fill probe. So very nice touch. Thanks for watching. Take care and uh, coming soon is coming in a second.